everybody. A lot of people who are concerned about the upcoming election have been asking me what can they do to help besides vote themselves. And I have lots of ideas for that. And the first thing is going to be writing postcards to voters. The idea behind postcards to voters is that when you get something interesting and handwritten in the mail, you're more likely to look at it than the printed brochures and postcards that campaigns send out. One easy way of doing postcards to voters is to go to postcards to voters.org. Oh my god, my hands are very shaky. I'm sorry for that. There it is. Postcards to voters.org. You have to apply for an account. Postcards to voters.org will ask you to do a test postcard so that they can see that you follow instructions and feel that you're actually committed to it and you're not going to ghost them because, like, if you don't do your postcard, someone else could have done it, so you don't want to leave something undone. Once you're approved, which happens really fast, um, they'll send you some campaigns to choose from and you'll ask for however many addresses you think you could do. So that could be five or 10 or 50 or 100. Then all you need to get is postcards and pens. And I like to get these blank postcards from the post office because they're pre-stamped. That's the stamp. They're a little bit weird looking, but it works. For my latest round of postcards, I picked the campaign of Stacey Abrams and Sarah Riggs Amico, who are running for governor and lieutenant governor of Georgia, where there has been massive voter suppression. So they could use a helping hand. Their campaign asked for three sentences to be on every card, but you get to write them however you want. Um, people draw great pictures, they do collages. I mean, I'm um, just with the colored pens. My art skills are clearly limited to jewelry only. That's it. No drawing. As you see, I didn't waste space on a salutation or a signature. You never get the name of the voter anyway. You just get the address. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to use the card for the message. Thank you to Vanessa from Harlem for this tip. We were postcard writing together and she pointed out that you can use the return address space for like another nice little message. I like something a little uplifting there. Because we don't know the name of the voter, they suggest you do something like very important voter, VIP voter, awesome voter, defender of democracy, you know, just something that is positive. Of course, I'm about to finish this card by putting the address here. Um, I just didn't want to show you someone's address for privacy reasons, but I do that and then it's all ready to be sent. On the Postcards to Voters site, you will find examples that people did that are way more beautiful than mine. Um, just go for it. Who wouldn't want to get one of these? Postcarding, like a lot of things, is more fun to do in a group. And something I found out kind of accidentally the other day um, when I had four people writing cards, it's much better if just one or two people write the addresses and everyone else concentrates on the messages. I thought that was so much easier than single-handedly flipping the cards over and being like kind of interrupted between the message and then looking up the address and everything. Um, I was the one doing the addresses and I had fun picking the colors for that and proofreading the cards. The last week and weekend before an election are the most important times for getting out the vote. So even if you haven't had a chance to do anything yet for this election, your timing is fantastic. This is when you're needed the most. If you're in New York and want to do some postcarding with me, I have some group events coming up. So you can DM me and I'll give you the information for that. If you're outside New York or just need to work alone because your schedule doesn't work out for any group events, I'm helping a few people by getting them um, addresses through my Postcards to Voters account. So you can DM me and see if I have any more room for that. Like Teresa from Arizona is going to help me write some cards for Stacey Abrams. And then I'm going to take some more to a dinner party tomorrow. Alyssa, Tina, and Stacey, I'm excited to put you to work. If you've got any questions about this, I'm happy to answer them. You do want to get on it right away because, you know, the postcards have to be done, go through the mail, and the election is coming up November 6th, so we got to get them out. And, of course, I have tons of other ways you can be active, but I just thought that this was an easy, fun project. Even if you're busy, really busy with work and your kids and everything, it's kind of something you could do one whenever you have a moment. And I gotta tell you, I've been trying to fix my hair as I've been doing this because I came right from the gym. 
I don't put on lipstick to go to the gym, but if I already have it on, like I don't take it off either. You know, I just gotta get there. So anyway, I'm kind of a hot mess. And the image on my sweatshirt is Lady Gaga. I got this hoodie at Coachella. Pretty cool image. So that's it.